In this short video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the self-assembly site's members area. First thing I'm going to do is log in. When you log in, you'll see the members dashboard. The members dashboard is the main area of the site and contains links to all of the other important areas. First thing you'll notice is that we recommend that people start with the website planner guide and that second they move on to the quick start guide. The planner guide is for if you want some help in planning out your website, figuring out how many pages, what pages you need, what kind of content you need and where you're going to get it from. The quick start guide is if you just want to get started building your site straight away without doing the planning. You can also see here on the right hand side we have some videos on getting started using self-assembly sites and these will help you to use our resources more effectively. So what I'm going to do now is bring you through the website planner guide. On this page we have some information about getting started with planning and we also have a list of different modules here that you can go through. The quick start guide is quite similar. We have a list of recommended modules that you should follow, several of them are optional. Going through these guides will help you get your site built as quickly as possible. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what one of our training modules looks like. This is a typical video training module page. As you can see we have a video here which is quite large. It's HD quality. You also see that we have a download audio track for all our videos. So you can download the MP3s and listen to them on your iPod or MP3 player. Here on the training module page usually we have some information on a walkthrough. We have some suggested links, often we have resources uh, about related to the video. And you'll also notice that we have the runtime, so this one is quite a short video, runtime of one minute. And we also have a technical level. Now you can see this little chart here, we have technical levels going from basic all the way up to quite advanced. Almost all of our videos are basic level. The average runtime of our videos is between three and five minutes. Each video is short and to the point. Now you notice that the videos are actually quite big. If you want to change the size of the video, you can use this link up here called your video preference. And here on the video size preference page, you can change how big you want the video to be. So if I choose medium and update. Now if I go back and refresh the add new page, you see the video is now smaller. So that's useful if you're on a slower internet connection. You notice that the video is still quite high quality and you can full screen all of our videos no matter what size the player that you're using is and you can follow along with what's going on on screen. The next thing I'm going to do is go back to the members dashboard and I'm going to show you a different way of navigating through our content. We also have all our videos categorized according to the different areas that they are related to. So for example if I look at the hosting category category page lists all the videos in a category and has a screenshot from the video, the technical level here and the runtime. It also shows if the video training modules are listed in any other categories as well. So you can browse through all of these by category. Finally you notice that there's a search box on almost every page including at the top and bottom of the members dashboard that you can use to search for video training modules. And last but not least if you scroll down to the bottom of the guides list you'll see that you can browse all modules. And if you click on this page, you see that we have an exhaustive list of all the modules that we have currently. And this list is updated automatically every time that we add a new module. So that's the members dashboard. You can also see on the downloads page, we have a number of free bonuses. For example, we have a web design checklist, we've got a logo questionnaire, and we've got over 250 free images that you can use on your website. And this comes with a commercial use license. Finally, I'm going to give you a quick look at the community forums. Here on the technical forum, you can ask technical questions and you'll get a really quick answer to everything that you ask. And quite often what we'll do is we'll actually record a video for you, showing you specifically how to do what you just asked. So that's the community forums, and that's a brief tour of self-assembly sites and the members area. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you on the inside.